Zeyang, this is your work uniform, right? It's quite lovely. The fabric and quality is very good. It's a good location, newly renovated, a great deal, and it's big. It's 130 square meters. Zeyang, you're buying an apartment. Right, you should do that. It's about time for you to get married. But I don't have money. All of our savings was used to take care of your dad's leg. I don't need your money. Then what is it? I paid the deposit. I bought this for you. He bought an apartment. So, he bought you a place in the city. Impressive. He is very impressive. He's so capable now. He wants to take you over there and leave me alone in this village, right? I finally figured it out. You have been waiting for this day, right? Ah! Are you trying to scold me? Sorry, I'll get someone. Just forget it! Just leave! Go on! Go live in the place your son bought for you! It's late. Must you leave now? I'll make a phone call to your uncle. Never mind. I'll go there directly. <laughs> What's wrong, Mom? You've been sitting here staring at me since the movie started. What do you want to talk to me about? You've been gone for a long time. So I'm making up for all the years I didn't see the real you. Oh, sure, go ahead. Stop, Mom. You're making me feel really weird. Dinkai. Hmm? Tell me, what's going on with those two young ladies? I haven't seen them for a long time. I'm not sure what you mean. Wow. Good acting. No, Ma I'm being serious. Let me give them a call. Hey, how do you know their phone numbers? <laughs> you do understand whom I'm talking about. No idea. <laughs> Honey, I'm being serious with you. You're getting older. Time to marry. It's so clear to me now. Nobody knows what will happen to them in the future. I'm talking to you here. Mm. Good point, Mom. I should leave. I got a date. That's my boy. Oh, honey, listen carefully. Do not cheat on the girl you're seeing, okay? Just pick one. Be loyal. Don't hurt her. Understand? Of course, Mom. Come on. I've got things to do. I know you're I... still unhappy. A walk outside will clear I'm your mind. I'm not in the mood. What I... are you worried about? I'm working on my CV. I need to find a job. Buy one, get one free. Let's go help with those. I'm impressed. You're so socially responsible. Yeah, of course. You know what? Without these, it's dangerous. All done. 
Dad. Hey, oh my. Uh, Dad, are you okay? Be careful. <laughs> Sir, oh here. My. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, Dad. It's you guys. <laughs> Be careful. <sighs> Thank you, son. <sighs> hey, what time is it right now? Why are you both so free today? Uh, oh, we're, we're going home now. Oh, by the way, did you go to that company for an interview? I did. Yeah? Uh, and I will start working tomorrow. They've hired huh? me, Dad. Really? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, dear. Uh. Great. <laughs> okay, go ahead, guys. Huh? I've got work to do. Go on. Uh. Sir. Yeah. Be careful, okay? Don't worry. Go ahead, you two. Bye. My hands are dirty. See you soon. So we'll go back, Dad? Yeah, sure. Bye. Oh, be careful. Hey. Be careful. Come on. We'll see you, Dad. Goodbye, okay. sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hey, tell your mom the good news. I know, of course I will. <laughs> Congrats. What's bothering you? Nothing. All right, so what shall we eat tonight? Don't you think you should treat me to dinner? And why should I treat you? Think about it. I didn't tell your father you were lying just now. If you don't buy me dinner for that, I'll tell him the truth. Which restaurant? The best. The best? Mm. The best. The best! <laughs> okay. Then let's go to McDonald's. That's my favorite. <laughs> Is that all you're going to write? Hundreds of people send their CVs to companies every day to find a job. Without writing something special, come on, how will you stand out from them? Then what should I say? Let me help you. Here. Right here? Mm. Change my name to yours? <laughs> <laughs> Let me. But, come on, don't write that. Delete it Just now. Just leave it. It will help you out, alright? Come on, don't write that, Dinkai. Delete it. Look, I'll just write this. Must you force me to remember something I'm trying to forget? It's already in the past now. Besides, you must learn to face it bravely. In order to move on. <laughs> What's more, it's one of your skills, isn't it? You're an excellent guide. Here, come on. I'll hold it for you. You fill it out. Your hands don't work? What hands? These hands. <laughs> Alright, let me see it. Oh, okay. Here, Mr. Wu, have a look at this. It's an introduction to our project. Uh, our company has several new favorable policies, and all of them are mentioned in this document. Please read it carefully. All right, I'll take a look. Seems our company and the Shanghai government collaborated on a project called The City's Most Beautiful Moments. Here are the photos they selected. Want to take a look? It's 
So this is what it feels to have your heart broken. I'm fine. I mean me. You want to know why Ding Kai and Tianyu were together and what they talked about? Come to my apartment, 7:30. Aren't you hungry? Eat something. Why did you invite me to such a fancy restaurant? If I didn't bring you here, you'd never treat yourself to a superb meal. True, I wouldn't come, but I wouldn't regret it either. Look at yourself. You look so demoralized. I've got some good news. There are two VIP groups. One's for me, and the other one is for you. Let's go taste gourmet food and drink some nice wine. I can't drink wine. You know I'm a mean drunk. <sighs> you don't need to drink there. What I mean is, you only need to make our clients happy. I appreciate it, but I can't go back. Why can't you? Aren't you looking for a job now? Dinka has a big mouth. Don't blame Denkai for talking. You started out as a tour guide and have done it for two years already. Can you really change industries? Have you thought about that? Besides. You have an amazing mentor helping you. Since I promised to help you out, why are you refusing to come back? I'm... I'm tired. I want a break. I don't think I'm strong enough to do this job. And I can't guarantee the safety of all our clients. Listen, I am actually treating you today because I owe you an apology. It's okay. Honestly, I think you were born to be a tour guide. I have reflected carefully on this. If I were you when it happened, I wouldn't have been as brave as you were. Can we talk about something else? <sighs> of course. But I have to say, Tianyue, I really am sorry. You saved my life. Thank you. Welcome. Wow. Turns out Mr. Wong is not only a great first officer, but also a great chef. You're really thoughtful. I'm sure you could get any woman you want, even without trying so hard. You must know I wouldn't do this for just any woman. Don't bother. I don't eat this late at night. But you're already here. You know why I've come here. Really? You haven't even sat down, but want to jump right into it? Let's just get to the point. There's no need to say anything else. So you just come here because of Dinka. Yes. Here's my heart's desire. Just hearing about him is enough for me. You should go.
You used Dinkai to bait me, but I must tell you, that wasn't clever. Really? I told you a bad lie to get you here, I believe. You also knew it was a lie, but you still came. So perhaps you don't know yourself that well, if you didn't have faith in me, or if you thought I would disappoint you, you wouldn't have come here. Annie, listen to me. I'm not Dinkai. I don't want only your body, but also your heart. I drive you back home. <sighs> Tanya. Yeah? Make sure to tell him how much you appreciate his help. After all, he has found you a good job, right? Sure. Hey, keep moving. We're nearly there. Come on. Hey, what's wrong? You're tired? Uh, my, my foot is hurting me. Dad, let's visit him another day. Is it serious? Um, well, it's the... Which one? Let me have a look at it. Uh, wait, no, Dad, stop, Dad. Take the shoe off. Let me look at it, quickly. Come on, Take Dad. Let me see. Dad! Oh. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I was lying. Huh? The company didn't hire me. I don't have enough work experience for them. During my interview, they said that I'm not qualified for the job. <sighs> Dad. Let's go home. I'll try to find you another job. Don't be angry, Dad. from now on, you will have to rely on yourself. The anchor got stuck on the extremely rocky bottom, and it caused the chain to twist together. Now, the anchor is hooked tightly to the chain, and it's upside down. If we don't do anything, there will be a disaster. Now, I would like to hear everyone's opinion about this. Do you have any ideas? Start the ship, and then let's rely on the ship's movement to then drag the anchor chain, right? But I mean, of course. What if the anchor gets stuck in the opposite direction? I don't know. Dreamland of the ocean is huge and over 500 tons. Any movement we make will create strong waves in the water. So I suggest we fix it ourselves. Fix it ourselves? Yeah, we should jump overboard and fix it. Do you all think this method will work? It's dangerous. I mean, how exactly can we untwist it? How long will it take? Don't forget the ocean's undercurrents. There are too many uncontrollable factors. Once the sailors drop the anchor, the sudden impact alone could cause some problems for them. Keep talking. What's your opinion? There are only 30 minutes left before we're scheduled to leave. The place we are currently docked is a golden berth. If we delay our departure, we may incur heavy penalties. 
some extreme heavy penalties, so I think we should discard it. Roger that. Hashmi, in five minutes, I'll be waiting for you in the bridge. You're a very decisive person. Your workability is outstanding. Have you eaten lunch yet? I haven't. It's my shift. And I'm not hungry yet. Captain, I, uh, was... Alan, please make your way to the staff captain's office. Be right there. Just stop! Alan, you've screwed up every chance! Well, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that this was another one of Hathaway's tests. These tests will never stop until you get off the ship. Alan, if you just want to be an ordinary person with a relatively high income, then your IQ really matters. But if you want to be one of the top on the list, then your attitude determines your altitude. You're lost, aren't you? Sorry, That's I... exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's hard to understand the great differences between different people. Take it easy. Olsen was too anxious. Uh, he's my supervisor. I can't afford to let him piss me off. <laughs> Good decision. I have to tell you, though, Ding Kai is very competitive. Yeah, well, I can see that now. Morgan left the ship, so you're here on your own. Olsen still thinks highly of you. Your test results come in soon. You won't let him down. Sure. Francis, please make your way to the engine room. Copy that. Gotta go. Think about it. Thanks. It's not right, go check it. All right. One coffee, please. Here you go. Thanks. Staff Captain, mind if I join you? You know what? I'm surprised no one else thought about discarding the anchor earlier. I think others did, but didn't dare suggest it. I mean, Hathaway. Nobody knows what she's thinking about. Regardless, this time Ding Kai made a great impression. Yes. He made all of you Chinese proud. Oh. I heard last month that he went to Kuala Lumpur. Will our company set up a new route there? No, it can't be. There is already a route to Kuala Lumpur, right? So why did he go there? I checked. The Blue Star is registered in Manila, which was unknown to us all, and 40% of the shares are owned by a company in Kuala Lumpur. We can't wait anymore. We have to take action now. Hold on. Hello? Maya, this is Olsen. Are you still at the Port Authority in Kuala Lumpur? Quickly, quickly, move it! Run if you're able. Finish it as soon as you can. Hey? Why are you sitting here? I'm waiting for my interview. Interview? 
Come with me. This is your desk here. This is your computer. I'm the manager here, Miss Young. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm very busy now. Get familiar with the office here. Oh, I... Where's your CV? Oh, it's here. My only requirement is that you're efficient. Miss Young, do you mean that I'm higher then? Mm-hmm. This is your first day. So, that meeting today was quite interesting. Oh, hey, Alan. Hi, Alan. Hey. Hi. You look upset. I'm fine. Well, I've just had too much work recently, so I'm exhausted. You should take a rest then. How about take a shift? I'm fine, thank you. Take care. This way, please. Dinkai. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you can't leave the ship today. This is very important. Let me be brief. The anchor cabin stop valve came loose. Right now, we must investigate this thoroughly. It can't happen again. How could the stop valve come loose? I just checked it in person an hour ago. It's impossible. Don't tell me that it's impossible. Think about it carefully. If you admit that you've made a mistake, perhaps, you will get off lightly for this. I mean, demoted to ordinary seamen. And we won't sue you. I'm 100% certain, Olsen. It's impossible that it came loose, also I recorded it was secure. Jinga, come with me. know that a stop valve complication might cause a loss of one million dollars. So, whoever it was, he must step forward. But did you check the footage of the security camera? Wang Ziyang is in the monitor room, with Ding Kai. So, is it Ding Kai? We still have to find out who is responsible for what happened. 
Please ask Dinkai to come over here. Dinkai, Dinkai, come to the bridge. Dinkai, Dinkai, come to the bridge. According to this, Dinkai was the last person to go into the anchor room before we birthed. <laughs> Everyone knows Dinkai's work attitude and ability are far above other crew members. It's outrageous you made this kind of mistake. Dinkai, don't you want to explain yourself? Nothing to say. The consequences are going to be severe. Dinkai, you have let me down. Tianyu, do you think that he's stuck in traffic? She should give him a call, right? <sighs> Never mind. He's an officer. It's normal that he's busy. Let's start without him, huh? Maybe next time, okay? Right. Maybe he just had an unscheduled meeting. Oh, that's right. Let's start eating. Dad, don't you have to work this afternoon? Oh, yes, I do. Let's start. Come on, dear. Try some of this. Thank you, Dad. However, I think you should talk with Ding Kai about this. How could he stand his girlfriend up and say nothing, huh? He should have given you a call first. Enough, enough. Stop it. Just eat your food. Hey, you love scrambled eggs with tomatoes, don't you? Here, I propose a toast. Hey, Tianyu. Tian Let's drink a toast. Thank you for driving me back home. Are you sure you'll be alright? I'm fine. Dinkai, I know it's pointless to say anything at this moment. You're already sad enough. I just want you to know that I believe what you said. You aren't to blame for this. I know sometimes we have rather different opinions. But you're a really kind person. Thank you for believing in me. I'm just stating a matter of fact. So am I. You're really kind. <laughs> Goodbye.
Well, your papers are ready. Sorry to tell you that you're no longer with us. And your semen certificate is no longer available. Thank you. I'm really sorry. It's really a pity to see you leave. Take care of yourself. Come in. Mr. Tong. Dinkai. I've come to say goodbye. I know. I never thought this small thing would be the reason that you left us. Life is truly unexpected at times. I'm sad to say. Mr. Tong. In fact, I know you've helped me and protected me many times. But now I've disappointed you in the end. I'm sorry. Dinkai, you haven't disappointed me. You have disappointed yourself because you have worked very hard to get to where you are. All right. It's okay. I believe that you made this mistake because you were maybe distracted by something else. I won't ask you anything more. From now on, you must depend on yourself. Thank you, sir. Mm. Goodbye, Mr. Tong. Forever, each other. 